Hi, this is Sean here, your RSA approved driving instructor uh, with PassFirstTime.ie. And this week's video is all about everybody's favorite topic, road signs. And we're just going to take seven and we'll see if you can identify the seven. These are very important because they're part of the theory questions at the start of your driving test. And you don't really want to get a grade two error before you ever start driving on the road. So put a bit of effort into the theory and make sure you get the questions and the signs right. So let's take a look at a couple of signs and see how you would do if today was your driving test. Here we go. Sign number one. What is that? I'll give you a quick sec to think before I display the answer for you. It is the end of the motorway. Sign number two has appeared. What would that be? Let's find out. It's a cul-de-sac, a dead end. Sign number three, number of cars. A lot of these signs, by the way, here's a tip for you. If they do show you a sign and you're not sure, well, number one, always guess. And number two, a lot of the signs will be self-explanatory. You'll be able to figure them out from what's in the sign, what you can see in front of you. And this is a queue of cars, and it means that queues are likely because of the roadworks. Sign number three, the X across what? It's a railway track, actually. Since sign number three means that it's a level crossing ahead or a railway crossing, unguarded by gates or lifting barriers. And remember, you don't have to word it exactly as it is in the rules of the road. You don't have to learn it off. As long as you can explain what the sign means in your own words, that's absolutely fine. The next one, what is that? This is one I find now that catches a lot of people when I ask them before their, their driving test what this is. The two lines and the one going up through it. Let's have a look. It's a T-junction at a dual carriageway. The double black line on the yellow back uh, on the yellow background is the dual carriageway, and that's a T-junction then going up into it. This next blue sign with the bus is what? Very popular, this sign, actually. It's a contraflow bus lane. And this simply means that the bus comes against the flow of the traffic. So you're on the left lane, the bus is on the right lane coming down against you, as opposed to a with flow bus lane, which goes in the same direction as you. And finally, an empty circle at the end. There's usually a disc under this sign as well. And this sign means that it's a pedestrianized zone, people walking only. All right, let's have a look back at them all again. So... Number one is the end of the motorway. Number two is a cul-de-sac or a dead end. Number three is a queue of cars is likely because of the roadworks. Number four is an unmanned or unguarded level crossing. Number five is a T-junction at a dual carriageway. Number six is a contraflow bus lane or the bus coming against the flow of the traffic. And number seven, is a pedestrianized street or pedestrianized zone. So they are just some of the signs I find that probably catch people at times. If you got them all right, well done. Fair play to you. If you didn't, go back and start looking through the signs. By the way, if you do want more tips on the driving test, we have a free driving test secrets uh, three-part video series. It's a three-part email series. You get a video a day over three days. And it's well worth checking out if you are preparing for the driving test. I leave details of that down in the comments below. And I'm going to give you a question this week to leave you as well before next week. A theory question that you can think about. This is very easy. This is probably too easy, actually, I think. But let's see if you get it. I'll give you two questions, actually. They're related to the signs. So for next week, without checking Google or anything, uh, what is the speed limit on a motorway? And what is the speed limit on a dual carriageway? Think about those. Will I give you one more? I'll give you one more because I feel like it. And what category of license will you receive when you pass your car driving test? What category of license? So speed limit, motorway, dual carriageway, category of license. I'll give you the answer to those at the start of next week's video. So thank you very much for watching. Please, I always forget to, to ask people to like and subscribe. If you do find you're getting any benefit from these videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. Safe motoring to you and good luck with your driving. I'll talk to you next week.